Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I will try and give you the viewer an in-depth and better understanding of Mabuna. Mabuna pronounced Mabuna is the common name for a large group of African cichlids from Lake Malawi. This lake, the third largest in Africa and the eighth largest lake in the world, is reportedly the habitat of more species of fish than any other body of fresh water on earth, including more than 1,000 species of African cichlids. Mabuna require hard water and pH levels of around 7.2 to 7.8. Being a warm water fish, the temperature should be between 78 to 82 Fahrenheit. The name Mabuna means rockfish in the language of the Tonga people of Malawi. As the name implies, Mabuna are the cichlids that live among piles of rocks. There's also some Mabuna who spend more time in the shallow sandy shores. The diversity of species is truly amazing, with new species being discovered at a prolific rate. They have fascinating personalities that will keep you staring at your aquarium for hours. They're highly territorial and can be quite aggressive to their counterparts, defending their patch of rock or a breeding area. In the lake they can be found in large groups of their own kind accompanied by dozens and dozens of other species. Mabuna can reach a length of 7 inches. For example, the yellowtail ACI can reach 7 inches, but the smaller of the Mabuna, known as the dwarf Mabuna, will max out at around 3.5 to 4 inches. For example, Demosoni Pombo rocks are classed as dwarf Mabuna and can grow up to 4 inches. Foremost, Mabuna are algae grazing cichlids, classed as herbivores. In the wild they spend most of their day scraping away algae covered rocks. The Mabuna's intestines are around 4 times their body length. Yeah, that's right, 4 times its body length, designed to extract the proteins and carbohydrates from the hard to digest algae. They require foods containing high fibres, that's why so much of their time in the wild is spent grazing on algae. The diet of a Mabuna kept in captivity should primarily consist of veggie based foods. Foods containing high proteins, for example beef heart foods and blood worms, can cause what is called Malawi bloat. This can lead to death within just a couple of days. Now sex in Mabuna can be tricky at some times, especially when a male and female from the same species can look almost identical. For example, yellow labs, commonly known as the for most people as electric yellows. A method called venting is needed when this is the case and I'll place a link on the screen where you can click on and I'll open in a new tab and I cover the subject venting. Some species are far, far more easier for example P.S. Salusi which, with the males being a blue and black striped Mabuna and the females being a shade of yellow are really easy to sex. Mabuna are maternal mouth brooders, meaning the female holds the offspring for a certain amount of time in her mouth, this time being between 21 to 28 days. The breeding process begins with the male preparing a breeding area to help attract females. The breeding area is normally a well selected rock surface, a patch of sand near a rock, or a patch of sand out in the open. The male will clean his selected breeding area, constantly removing any unwanted bits of substrate, thus making the area appealing to possible breeding females. The male will dart around his selected area showing off his breeding dress by shaking his body. The male and female will then swim around in a circular motion, with the female dro dropping her eggs and then picking them up in her mouth. They continue the cycle until the female has dropped all of her eggs, then it's the male's turn. The male will shake his anal fin which in most cases will have egg spots. This is basically tricking the female into thinking there's more eggs to pick up, but in fact this is when her eggs are being fertilised. So to wrap things up, Mabuna are a truly fascinating Afri African cichlid with different personalities. With such a diversity of species to choose from, I recommend Mabuna to every fish keeper new or old to the hobby. Thank you very much for watching this video. And please feel free to check out my How To African Cichlid playlist 
found on my channel.